or you know, just saying, you know, I'm not complying with an order. I don't know if his order was to roll the window down, but they can't order me to consent to a search, and I was leaving the window up as part of not consenting to a, a sniff search, which is if they're if they're smelling in the car, I don't I don't see the reason why I have to let them do that without any suspicion or probable cause. What do you hope people who view your YouTube channel uh, will get? What I try to do is I try to be, you know, actually kind of find people. I film lots of stuff and I try to target specific people, um, specific people's interests. I don't want them to come to the channel to, to find something that's not interesting to them. I want uh, like a specific topic that directly relates to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why, like I say, I go around and film a lot of different places and I'll label the different things and then if they find something of interest then sometimes I like to see what they found and then maybe cover that uh, in a deeper uh, sense. I guess I just mm -hmm. in more depth. Anything you can think of that I left out? I think we covered pretty much everything. Just stay there for a second. We'll just get a couple of cutaways. So the um, more and more, these, the Border Patrol is getting accused of overstepping their boundaries on these checkpoints. And, you know, case in point, you're a ex-military, retired military, um, and you don't look like a drug smuggler. You don't look like an illegal immigrant, and yet your vehicles broken into. You think you're kind of an example of how the Border Patrol may be overstepping its boundaries? Well, I think they tried to use me as an example to have, you know, convince more people to, to comply. I think I think maybe their breaking entry was not to uh, because of me, but because they want to affect more people and maybe get me to, you know, uh, kind of counto to, to what they're doing. You haven't heard any sense that they were embarrassed by this. You think they're using it as a example of look. Fly with us, or this is what's going to happen. Wow. And and that's kind of the, the feeling I got as I was going through the, the process. The I think the federal law is written so that they can set these up within 100 miles of the border, all over the country, which is sort of um, scary that there's that much authority. One one yeah one thing I did learn uh, from this too that you know, I see a lot of people drawing maps with this 100 mile radius, but uh, Michigan, uh, in their constitution back in the 1930s, banned suspicionless stops like this, so they can't, which is, in their entire state, is surrounded by that 100 mile limit, uh, and the Border Patrol can't set up these type of stops in uh, Michigan. Suspicionless stops, what does that mean? It means they just, they stop everybody no reason at all other than this immigration inspection. It's not that, that they don't inspect the car, but they, they stop every vehicle or, or allowed to. They don't need a suspicious reason to. But then they look for anything they can to prosecute people with. Awesome. Thanks.